legislature has to be looking at this, and this is the time for the ACLU to act. <laughs> Not to uh, yeah. taint Americans as war criminals, but to ensure that all Americans' rights are preserved. All right, all right, all right. If I'm a health care provider, if I don't show up for work at a hospital, will I be jailed? If I'm a health care provider, if I don't show up for work at a hospital, will I be jailed? But of course it could get worse. Congress shall now vote for approval of H.R. 8791, the Homeland Terrorism Preparedness Bill. A said bill requests emergency response funding up to and including, oh, I'm sorry, this section is classified, a dollars to prepare for a national level terrorist attack and or attack from classified. Funding for first responder personnel and vehicles would be doubled if said attack leads to more than 80% of national population being affected by classified. This funding shall commence in conjunction with the first attack on um, classified or the first large-scale outbreak of classified dependent upon which comes first civilian and military units shall be trained in containment and combat of classified including irradiated classified with possibility of classified airborne classified flesh eating classified and or all of the above in such event as classified spewing classified escape are released or otherwise become uncontrollable Air Force units may also be directed to combat said classified due to their enormous size and otherworldly strengths. Should event occur in urban areas, geez, that, that's classified, far surpassing our darkest nightmares. Should casualties uh, exceed classified body disposal actions, shall be halted and associated resources shall be reallocated to classified underground, classified protected birthing centers. A new bill of rights shall be drafted and approved by classified. Having now reviewed the bill, I ask you to please cast your votes.